I have to say, though, as a fan, a show with you and Kevin Brennan debating issues would be, like, that would be fucking big. But do you know how exhausting that would be for me? That's why I've got the cocaine problem. Personally, no, I'm talking personally. Do you think I want to every day fight that battle? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I suppose. <laughs> That's why, I mean, to, to their credit, to the guy's credit, because I always try to, like, go beyond what I think what looks like, you know, to their credit, maybe they think I'm the only one who can handle them. Maybe that's what you want to watch. And and men like that 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 like UFC feeling, maybe they would like me to go in and like handle him every day, but that's not that's not my cup of tea. I, I have no desire to go on something and just fight with somebody all the time. That's not what any of my comedy's about. That's not what any of my my comedy's never been about that. Well my it's funny it's positive. Well it's funny you mention that type of personality because uh, anyone that doesn't know, Sue was in the Oscar winning film The Fighter. Mm-hmm. Uh but the thing is, that director, David O. Russell, maybe you don't want to say it, but I'll say it. He has this ridiculous reputation as if he's a fucking wrestler challenging Hulk Hogan for fucking WrestleMania, the way he talks. And there's even video footage of that actress. Uh, they call her Lily Tomlin. Is that how you pronounce it? So when I did The Fighter, that Lily Tomlin YouTube video had just come out and Christian Bale flipping out on the lighting guy had just come out. So I'm on the set with these two guys. Now, this is David O'Reilly's, uh, David O'Russell's first foray back into directing. And Christian Bale just flipped out on the lighting designer. And I'm in the mid- I literally was carrying the crack pipe in the Oscar winning scene, the, the scene that got him the Oscar. And they and, and David did. Uh, it's funny because he brought that up because the same thing happened on The Fighter that happened on Tough Crowd. So Christian, so I was holding the... Uh, during one scene, I was just had to bring him the crack pipe while he was doing his monologue. I wasn't talking, so any actor knows when you don't talk, it's almost more it's more difficult. So I was hiding behind. It was like a ninety degrees. I was hiding behind the camera because we were in like a little apartment. I was and, I, and when he the way I was supposed to go was, was when he said a certain line, I was supposed to walk on that line. And by the time I got to him, he would reach his hand out and take the pipe, and I would walk away. That was the way it was choreographed. So at, during one take. Uh, Christian added an extra line. I walked on the line that he's that I was supposed to walk on, and he added an extra line. So rather than blow the scene, which would have cost a lot of money, I just kind of hung out, and then he put his hand out. I passed it to him, and it was fine. David O'Russell, again, remember I said Kevin didn't want to yell at uh, Anthony, so he yelled at me? <laughs> That's what happened with David O'Russell. He wanted to yell at Christian for adding the extra line, but instead of yelling at Christian, he yelled at me. And he came out of the back and he was like, Costello, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? And because I've been around it for 30 years, I was like, I'm not doing anything. I go, he just added an extra line. And it was so funny how David literally just like, he started laughing. He was so, it it took him off. It took his breath away because he's so used to the fight. But like I told you, I don't want to fight anymore with these guys. And, And because I'm so strong, it didn't even scare me. I go, oh, he just added an extra line, and he started laughing, and then he looked at me, and he looked at Christian, and he goes, well, he doesn't want you fucking bothering him, and I looked at Christian, and I go, I'm not bothering him, and Christian goes, yeah, she's not bothering me, and David O. Russell laughed and ran in the back of the, uh, back to his seat, and I was like, oh, I'm so used to, it doesn't freak me out when men yell at me anymore, but then later on, now that this is all going on with Time's Up and everything, I'm like, I don't want to do that anymore, I don't want to be the one that breaks up the fights anymore. Yeah, because that's, that's one of the things that uh, I've never understood uh, when you see here all this stuff about directors who are like that, that, that fucking, like, like James Cameron, I've read, but it was such a control freak that he would, if someone was, like, painting a set, he would run over, grab the brush, and go, that's not how you paint the fucking set, this is how you paint the set. It's like, it's a fucking brush, big nose. But, yeah. Okay, I, so now you're talking Harry, you're talking about Kevin, you're talking about James Cameron, you're talking about David O. Russell. What do they all have in common? They're Jews. They're men. Oh, man. Yeah, sorry. I thought. <laughs> and they're all flipping out. You don't hear a lot of that about women doing that. True, hence, true. Hence why we, I don't, that's why I don't understand why everybody's so freaked out about us getting a little bit of the. Just not being abused. We would actually help when women's energy, our feminine energy is for men. We're supposed to guide because men have testosterone and all this reactionary behavior. That's why wars get started. 
women, we have like this energy, which is what I've done in Tough Crowd, what I did on the fight. We have this like balancing energy. So we actually help men to not ruin their lives. Like you said, Ari blew it all up. How many people, have, how many guys have like torched their whole careers? Mm. But how many guys let them too? Because they identify with them. It's just like in an office. If a woman's in an office and a guy's in an office, the, the boss is going to bring the guy in because he identifies with the guy. He goes, oh, the guy has a wife, he has kids, I'm going to bring him in and help him. So it's just a changing of the, it's, we're having a paradigm shift right now. So it might not be pleasant, but it, I like it. But i got to ask you a question you said of the fighter in Christian Bale. Uh, I think he's one of the greatest actors ever. But uh, you hear all these conflicting stories. So people are like, he's the most friendliest, down-to-earth Disney guy going. And then you hear the other day, the other people going, he's a fucking nightmare. So uh, what was your personal experiences like with him? Here's what I would say. First of all, he was lovely with me. He was absolutely hilarious. When I walk, he, he didn't even know me, and I walked into the trailer, and uh, I said, oh, Christian, you look great. You look like my brother Jimmy. And he goes, is that good for me or for your brother Jimmy? And right away, I was like, oh, he's funny. I like him. And then uh, on the set, he, him and both, the funny part is both him and David had complete and total respect and a little terror of me because I didn't react when they were yelling. So, again, I'll say the same thing, like, oh, People might say that about me. People might say, oh, Sue Costello's lovely. Or people might say Sue Costello's a terror. Some, and what did I say to you about the guys? When I say to the guys, don't talk to me like that, what do they say? They say, she's yelling at me. I wasn't yelling at you. I was just asking you not to grab my boob. <laughs> so they might interpret me as a terror. So it's all based on how, I mean, people probably say the same thing about you. Some people probably, you probably... The people that are good to you, you probably treat kindly. The people that are horrible to you, you probably tell stop it, and they probably don't like it. So it's easy to have gossip about people. He, this man, is a he has to carry these multi million dollar movies. He can't just talk to everybody. Think about how many people would fuck with him. Yeah. I mean, think. Of, I mean, I remember Chappelle was in uh, Caroline's. We were in the dressing room at Caroline's, and he said, "Sue, what was it like working with Christian?" And I said, "Awesome." I said, you know that lighting designer walked into his eye line 50 times before he freaked out. And Chappelle goes, yeah, he did. Because Chappelle had his own show. I had my own show. We know how people fuck with you. It's just human nature. And the, and the, my goal in life is to try to get to the place where I don't react to them fucking with me. And I shift the paradigm. And I stop taking care of the men and start inserting myself for who I am. And I don't care. of course people are going to talk bad to you about you. When you're successful, that's part of the game. 